The next thing to think about for reading speed is how many words can you read per semester? And um, if we think about how fast we can read, um, think about your target. What's your what's your target then? Uh, could you just make a note? What's how fast? How fast are you going to be able to read next month? Please uh, set a target, set your target speed, and uh, when you have a target speed, I'd like you to calculate your target speed times three hundred. Now, the reason I'm saying 300 is 300 is um, 20 minutes per lesson times 15 lessons per semester. Uh, usually when I teach in the classroom, we have reading time every week. So there are 20 minutes each week for reading time. So if you come to the class with a book and spend 20 minutes reading, then that's how many words you can read just by coming to the lesson. Now, of course, you should be reading outside the lesson as well. So you should be reading 20 minutes outside class is not very much. That's about three minutes per day. And you should probably be reading twice that, really. You should be reading maybe 10 minutes per day. Um, that would take you up to four times, four times that number. Um, so you can work out you can work out how many words you can read um, in this semester, and you can also look at how many words you have to read. So, in order to stop your translation habit, you need to read about a hundred thousand words. Um, as when you start reading in a foreign language, you naturally translate everything into your own language. Your own language, you're very very good at and your foreign language at the beginning you're not very good at. So when we see something unfamiliar, we want to convert it into something familiar. And this means translating. Um, translating also means lots of work for your brain, and not very interesting work, not very easy work. But to get out of this habit, we need to read about 100,000 words. We then may start thinking about tests and English tests and we may want to do better, get a higher score and we may find studying for tests to be very boring. Uh, in which case there's good news and the good news is that reading will improve your test scores. Um, the slightly less good news is that reading one book won't make a difference. You need to read regularly and you need to read something like 300,000 words before we can start seeing an improvement in your test scores just from reading. But again that's the good news, 300,000 words and your test scores will get better just from you reading. Um, a million words is how much a native speaker reads typically in one year. So a million words may seem like a very big number but for a native speaker, that's a kind of average year. And someone has calculated if you go, if you read two million words, that's the same benefit for your language ability as studying abroad for a year. Uh, if I were you, if I had a chance, I'd go and study abroad. But if, if you don't have a chance, then um, reading may be much cheaper. And you can do that in your own house or in your own home or wherever you want, really. Um, so, uh, for the first semester then, I expect people to read at least 100,000 words in the first semester. And you can work out how many minutes per week that means. If you divide by your reading speed, divide by the number of weeks. Um, and I would expect at least 200,000 words in the second semester. Um, and something like 300,000 words in a year. There are 52 words in a year, so you can work out how many minutes per week you need to read to get to 300,000 words in a year. And it's not many minutes. If you think about how many minutes you spend 
looking at social media, watching YouTube. You could easily spend this much time reading and then you'd get to um, not worrying about practice for your English tests. Another way to look at reading speed is from some research by, um, by someone called Fry. This is quite old research. This is from the 1960s. And he suggested that there are three different reading speeds for everybody. So we all have three different reading speeds. And these speeds are basically slow, also known as study reading, or um, average everyday reading, or fast, which is skimming. Now, slow reading for a good reader is 200 to 300 words per minute. Um, and a good reader can understand something like 80 or 90 percent of the meaning while reading at 200 to 300 words per minute. Um, a good reader can read average everyday reading, reading a novel, reading a magazine, um, between 250 and 500 words per minute. And this everyday reading doesn't, you don't need to understand 80 or 90 percent. You need to understand about 70 percent. If you're reading a novel, for example, you don't need to understand completely everything that's happening. You need to follow the story. Um, skimming, on the other hand, a good reader can skim at over 800 words per minute and get about half of the meaning. So this may be very useful if your teacher hands a big heavy book to you and tells you to read it before next week. If you can skim, that means you can just go through and get an idea of what's in the book, what it's about. And if you have to go and find out more details later, you know what to find. You know the basic idea of the book. You know the basic ideas in the book. And you can then go back later and find what you're looking for. Uh, so that's for a good reader. A poor reader, on the other hand, will read much more slowly. Um, a poor reader can do study reading. Again, again, understanding about 80 or 90 percent. So a study, a, a study reading poor reader, a poor reader study reading can understand the same amount as a good reader. They are just a bit slower. And similarly, if a poor reader is reading a novel or a magazine, they can still understand about 70%, but they'll do it at a lower speed than the good reader. And skimming is something that only good readers can do. So to be able to skim, first of all, you need to be able to read quite quickly and quite well when you're reading everyday reading. Um, and you need to be able to study read more quickly. And it may be um, that beginner readers only have one speed. So if people haven't read very much and are not used to reading, they may only be study reading and only be reading to try to understand 90%. So if you are reading quite slowly, if you are reading too slowly, one thing you can try to do is try to understand a bit less and then your speed may be able to go up a bit more and you may be able to get two speeds and then later three speeds. Um, so it's just worth remembering then for reading speed that um, it's different for different people. So there is no correct reading speed. Some people are fast readers, some people are slow readers. Um, it's also different for different books. So there may be a book that you want to read more quickly or a book that you want to read more slowly. Um, skimming is something that only fast readers can do. You need to be a good reader first, then you can skim. And if you're reading too carefully, you may be reading too slowly. So if you want to read faster, you can just try and be less careful and worry less about understanding so much. Um, also, it's worth pointing out that difficult books, if you're reading a book that's too difficult, then it will slow you down. So reading easy books is very important to increase your reading speed.